Hi and welcome to a new video. So today I have my weekly spreads of July and I can't believe July is almost over and I'm already recording this voiceover. It's insane. But for you today I have four weekly spreads and this is the first weekly. I decided to use the colors I use throughout my July plan with me. You can watch that video. It's gonna be linked down below in the description box. So now I'm just using this orange pen to draw the boxes for my weeklies. And I'm using these stickers from the sticker sheet called Magical Jars from this shop I'm gonna link down below it has a German name I think so I'm not gonna try to pronounce it and I really like these stickers I think they are really really cute and yeah I drew some boxes for the stickers and some squares with the accent colors I'm using this month and I'm really excited about these month colors because I usually use like one, two, three colors at most but this month I chose a really colorful theme. And here down below I'm just drawing a little monster. I call them monsters. I don't know if you saw my July Planet meme, but I call these little guys little monsters. And the sticker sheet has some and I didn't want to use them all at once, so sometimes I draw them as well. And it goes with the vibe. Now I'm just writing the days of the month. I didn't film the weekly for the first four days of the month because I usually just film complete weeklies. That is usually three weeks per month that are complete. But in this setup I have four weeklies to show you because like the last days of July is from a Monday to a Saturday, so I decided to film that as well. And I wrote this little quote that says brighter days are coming. Because I just needed that motivation. And yeah, the first weekly spread is done. Every weekly spread is really simple and easy and one page weekly. But you can turn them in a two pages spread if it's what you prefer. I personally don't need that much space to write my weekly tasks, so that's why I do them in one week. So this is the second week and I used the same orange pen to draw the boxes for the weeklies and the rest of the boxes for other stuff. And yeah, as you can see, I don't plan my weeks all at once. I do them throughout the month because I don't know how much space I'm gonna need for the week. So I wait a little bit for me to see which weekly layout is more suitable for me for that particular week. And I use the same stickers and the same pens for this week as well as you can see in the video. 
As you can see, I drew a box for the Sunday on top of the Saturday box. I like the mismatch box, but if you have a lot of tasks on Saturday, this will not work that well for you. But for me, in this particular day, I just had to go to work, so that was fine. I did not have that many tasks to do. a little quote that says if it excites you and scares you at the same time it might be a good thing to try and in this particular week I started a new job so I needed a little motivation quote for that job and I was excited and scared so I decided to try this new job. And I just added some details and that's pretty much the second week done. It's really different from what I usually do, but I really like this layout and I'm gonna do it more often. next week. This is the third week. Another day, another plan with me. For you it's all in the same day, for this voiceover it's all in the same day, but for past me that was drawing this stuff it was all different days in different weeks so i decided to do this layout the boxes are more narrow and i have two spaces to draw stuff or write some quotes or notes or anything like that so i decided to use my last little monster sticker these were my favorite sticker of the whole sheet. And I used the stars and like this little pink potion as well. So now I'm using these Corella super tips to give the pop of color that this spread needs. As you can see, I always do the same thing. I do the structure of the spread. In this case, in this July theme, I use the orange pen and then I use the seekers or draw the doodles that I usually draw that month. And then I use the pens to give it the pop of color. And finally, I do the headers for the weekdays, or I just write the weekdays as it is. And I usually do this when it's a structured weekly spread, but when it's a more flowy weekly spread, I can do things differently. And for example, uh, write day by day as the week progresses or something like that. This is the third week and the last complete week of July. It was really simple as well.
And finally, this was the fastest spread to make. I think, yeah, I think it was the fastest. And it's the last weekly spread of this video. So, since July is more six days of this week, I just drew six boxes, so I decided to use a horizontal layout. Because when I'm doing one page weekly spreads, I usually don't have the space to draw horizontal weeklies because the space for the weeklies is gonna be really narrow. So I decided to take advantage for one last day of the week to do a horizontal layout. I have to say that to write tasks and everything is not my favorite type of weekly, but I don't like to flip through my journal and see only the same type of weeklies. So sometimes I like to change it up to an horizontal layout. And I think it looks really cute when you see it, so it makes me happy as well. So, same thing, orange pen to do the structure, stickers and the pops of color, and then writing the headers of the weekdays. This one was really fast to do, it took me 10 minutes. I didn't want to use cursive on this month setup, but I think it looks really pretty in this weekly, so I don't care. I usually like to be consistent throughout the month, but I think in this particular weekly I make the right choice. This is the weekly done and all the weekly spreads of this month. I hope you like this video and if you can subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more bullet journal content. Bye! See you next time!